Live from beautiful Stink of America Stadium in Chuckett, South Carolina, where they love to say, keep pounding, ever since the Tommy DeFist incident back in 13. We all remember where we were that day. I still remember the beautiful screams. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. The Cardinal Sins go up against the Carolina Panzers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Opa! Uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take your shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. Boom! And that'll bring up second and one. And that's... And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's gotta hurt. That'll make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Oh, nice hit. down and three and the ground game is starting to soften up the defense first down and it's first and ten First down. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spiral. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Ah, uh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. First and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks. And it snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Now there are 
are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. The kicker died on that play. And that's terrible. Not what an eight know. Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. That's a gain of ten yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Hot two. Hot. 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 He could go all the way. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. The roid rage dirty trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the duration of the play. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. First and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Grim, I just dash. On it. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And just like that, the first ref is done. I think I won the pull on that. I had him in my first box. Well, someone's got to be first. He's got to be first at something at least once in life, even if it's dying. First down in a mile. Throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. Second down in a mile. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and ten. He's not going down. That's a four-yard gain.
Second down and six. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Third down and six. sure <laughs> don't try to get fancy here just put the ball down and kick it in that order Grim? it's good when you get knocked down you got to get right back up and fight in your nostril hairs once and for all. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. And that player has speed. He's the bullet and the offense is the target. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. I'm not saying the rap has been bribed, but he drove out of the field in a brand new hearse. <laughs> Second down, and we've got a... And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, hot two, hot Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. Yeah. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second and eight to go. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, Grim! You mean aside from priming the ref, kill the quarterback, or actually playing some D? And they line up for the extra point. Keep 
the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Second down and five. Bricks. Yeah, tell him me. Nice run. No, I mean he's a real stud. He works at the mutant stud farm weekends and summers. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. It's about a three yard pickup. Second down and seven. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. We always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot nine. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off-season. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Graham, will you tell the interns to get us some franken dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, at least they can pee for me, too. Caught for the first down. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first timeout. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, three. And he laterals the ball. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Well, 
Well, two years ago, this guy was a buried, rotting corpse at the edge of the galaxy. And today, look at him. He's a dancing, scoring machine. Yep, what a story. What a, what a wonderful story. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? They pick up three on a short pass. Second down and seven. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum, and the quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he made this clothing company lukewarm threads their marketing team hates it and it's first and ten and the running game is starting to click now a pickup of eight on the play the second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back to the start of the second half. It's a close game and should be a battle to the end. The teams line up for the kickoff. And my second half buzz is just kicking in right on time. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Crap your 
Pants Jr. And it's first and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big portage John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. Welcome to McBride Rage. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm taking a great throw and a great catch, but sadly to the wrong team. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Second down and seven. Third down and, well, good luck. Watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, the defense brought a sack lunch today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Not until he's cooked. Second down and a lot. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Hawk of the year. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Ouch! What is this? Andy's wrestling? Third down and ten.
try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Anyone in the mood for mutant tartar? Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! And it's first and ten. Something going here. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Come down to the wire. I love that show. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. QB would like. Ah, and he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? If you get one more bullshit penalty, you get one more for free. You also probably lose the game. Just do the attack ref's dirty trick. Second down, and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Ah, the refs certainly take a lot of abuse in this league, Grim. And the fans sure love it. They're like a pinata at a Mexican birthday party. Second down in a mile. QB is saying his prayers.
And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move him back. Nice. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Boom! And it's first and ten. for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback unleashed that pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get... Get rid of him again. You stick it in a plastic bag. Look out. That's an all-out attack on the Q. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service located just off the Beltway Exit 5. <laughs> the offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And that'll bring up second and one. Wow, he took like a thousand folks a shot there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Ford the Ant Spider. Did the shot treatment work? Well, after she killed four the doctors and Zapdos, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, there's no QB. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. The offense is down to their last surviving lineman. He's all alone out there, and when he dies, they'll have to forfeit. I know what it's like to be alone. I went to group therapy once to deal with loneliness, but no one else showed up. And it's first and ten. Uh, 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 and the runner is moving crazy fast. Look at the pass he's taking the field. Yeah, he's taking a psychopath, Grim. Second down and long. The quarterback is getting mauled out there. Third down and long. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog being snagged. He got hit by a couple. Ouch! Anyone in the mood for a steak tartare? First and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life.
It's the two-minute warning. You know what that means, right, Bricks? Yeah, take a giant whiz and get in a fight in the men's room. Second down and ten. Oh, oh and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Now why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary. Or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to bite them in the ass. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. The defense just used their last timeout, and there's still plenty of game left to play. Well, congratulations. You just played yourself. Memes won't make you cool, Bricks, no matter what your mom says. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. This guy's a brick shit. And the passing game picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. Third down, and the punter is warming up. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. You've got a player used to playing another position coming into the game and trying to kick a field goal for his team. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Oh, and that's what they call the money shot. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. The Carolina Panzers suffer a big loss today. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotrophism. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every...